All right. So we are now recording. I wanted to, I wanted to welcome everyone to the webinar. We have myself, Will Moss, from HBCU Connect, as well as the recruitment team from Eli Lilly. I'll ask you guys to introduce yourselves and your roles there at Eli Lilly. But just wanted to say thanks to everyone that's joined in on the the webinar so far. We've got some great information about careers at Eli Lilly. It was actually one of the partners here with HBCU Connect. We thought it would be a great idea for us to kind of share some information with you about Eli Lilly and company, as well as their career opportunities and careers in pharmaceutical sales, because it is a hard industry to get into. So this will be, you know, some great information related to that. And then if you want to meet the Eli Lilly team, we're actually hosting our annual HBCU Alumni Weekend here in Columbus, Ohio, and it's and it's this weekend coming up. And on Friday, we're having our recruitment reception. So I know a lot of you guys will be there for that. Um, and you'll have a chance to meet the folks here on the call at that recruitment reception, which starts from 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. at the Hyatt Regency in downtown Columbus. So, but without further ado, I'd like to ask the Eli Lilly team to go ahead and introduce yourselves, and we can go ahead and get started. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. If you're on Eastern Standard Time, as we are here in Indianapolis, Indiana, good morning if you are on the West Coast. And welcome to the HBCU Eli Lillian Company, Company Overview, where we're going to talk about sales and sales opportunity. My name is Mark Short. I am the campus recruiter for sales. I also coordinate a lot of our conference activities across the country. I've been with Lilly 16 years, all in uh, recruiting, but prior to that, I had 11 years of sales experience, so I was able to tie in my sales experience, my recruiting experience into my current job. I am joined with a couple colleagues, so I'll let them introduce themselves, starting with Maya. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Maya Macklin. Currently, I am, am the sales recruiter on the um, experience side, so not campus recruiting. Um, previously, I've been with Lily for two years, but before that, I just took this role in March. So I was a pharmaceutical sales rep prior to taking this role. And good afternoon, everybody. I am Tiffany Barrow. I uh, used to be, for the past 11 years, a sales rep in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, where I worked in neuroscience, biomedicines, and our diabetes business unit. I recently uh, relocated to Indianapolis, Indiana, and I work as a diversity talent scout um, in our recruiting uh, department as well. So welcome and thank you all for joining. And HBCU. Oh, HBCU. Which, which I forgot you know to what? say, which I will mention. Uh, a proud alum of Xavier University of Louisiana at New Orleans. And I failed to mention this, but I'm a graduate of Central State University of Ohio, Wilberforce, Ohio. So uh, delighted that I'll be coming back to actually my hometown, Columbus, Ohio, in a couple of days. Um, so, folks, what we want to do here is I'm not going to beat you to death with slides. Uh, I only have about 13 slides. Uh, we're going to talk very high level. Some of you may not be as familiar with Lilly. A lot of you were on Google last night doing your research on our website about who we are, what we do, what we make, so that you can be better informed. We certainly appreciate that. But we're going to talk about Lilly overall, kind of give you the scope. As William said, this is a very hard industry to get into. Uh, you know, pharmaceutical sales in general. There's not a ton of positions across the company. You can't go up to, you know, the company on Main Street and ask for the sales positions. People work out of their homes, uh, and you pretty much can only find out about them if they're posted on company's website. So this gives you, through HBCU Connect, direct access to these opportunities. So with that, let me go ahead and get started here. Let me switch the slides here. So just a little bit about Lilly um, and our fundamentals, and we live this every day, and it, what, it really is the heartbeat of our company. 
inside the company and outside the company. And what we do is we simply make medicines that help people live longer, healthier, more active lives. We make medicines, and I'll talk a little bit about the different areas that we make our medicines. Our vision is that we'll make a significant contribution to humanity by improving the global health in the 21st century. And our values that we live by here at the company are integrity, excellence, and respect for people. And if you currently know sales reps across the country who work for Lilly, that is our reputation. Um, so we take that, we, we start with that because integrity, excellence, and respect is, is where we start. So we are based in Indianapolis. Um, we are about 144 years old, so not many pharmaceutical companies have been around that long. And I highlight Indianapolis because not only do we have opportunities in the field, but I'm sitting here right now with a couple of individuals who have been in the field and have relocated to Indianapolis for additional opportunities. And I think that's significant. So while we are talking about sales opportunity now, the future could hold other opportunities, but make no mistake, they would likely lead here to Indianapolis, which is the 13th largest city in the United States. But I think when you hear Indianapolis, if you're across the country, you may not think of Indianapolis as being that large of a city. So a uh, couple other stats there on the screen, if you're able to see them. Um, but obviously one that most people know us by is that we, uh, we host the largest single day sporting event in the world, and that's the Indy 500 and the Brickyard 400. We're also home to the Indiana Black Expo, one of the largest Black Expos in the country, and one of the first classics in the country that we host every October, the city does, called the Circle City Classic. So what do we do? What do we make? Um, so you may have heard of some of our medicines. Uh, I won't go into particular brand names, but we are in the cardiovascular business. Uh, we make products for diabetes. We're one of the lead, leading uh, manufacturers of insulin in the world. Uh, we have immunology products, products for the musculoskeletal system. Uh, neuroscience, which we'll be talking about some of our neuroscience and headache pain medications today. We're also in oncology cancer. And, well, we were in the animal health business. Uh, if you followed us in the news uh, lately, we are spinning off our animal health division, Elanco, but Elanco has been with us for a very, very long time. In terms of, again, defining who we are, the type of company that, that we are, one of the things that we are do extremely well and that we are very proud of is how we give back and, and the way we give back and how we give back. We're about 25% of the United Way budget in Indiana uh, that gives to the United Way program. We make up 25% of that budget. We have a program that we started back in 2008 in Indianapolis that now has spread across the country in the world in terms of our service projects. So there is one day a year that we will literally take off the entire day and dedicate back to the city. It could be cleaning up parks, uh, painting walls, building houses, city projects. Uh, in Indianapolis alone, there'll be 5,000 people out across the city doing different community service projects. And then our districts across the country will have their own projects in local communities across the country. So that just kind of speaks to not only the business aspect, and this is just one of many, many volunteer programs, but other programs, you know, and when we, Lily says you can volunteer, that looks good, it's a nice thing to do. They don't just mean do it on your own time. But there are often times in the past where I've been a read up, a counselor where I'd go to schools and read, and that's on company time. Um, so not only do they encourage it, but they encourage it 
whether it's your work time or personal time, um, and that makes it kind of nice as well. We also have another really unique program that where 100 employees submit applications called Connecting Hearts Abroad, and Lily will send that individual to a third world country for 10 days, all expenses paid, in addition to vacation time to do service across the world in areas that really, really need additional support. So we'll take a team of 100 people, spread them out. So again, can't go through all the details, but I think it's important for you to understand the kind of culture that we are and the type of people that we are looking for. And that would certainly translate into people who like to help other people, who have a passion for health care. And a lot of the people who come to us when I'm at career fairs and schools, it's a result of when they open that refrigerator and see that red lily vial of insulin, they immediately connect because that's a medicine that their mother, father, grandparents are taking that helps them live a longer, healthier, more active life. So last thing before we get to the sales opportunities is another thing that we're extremely proud of here is the diversity mm -hmm. at Lilly. Um, I can't speak for all the corporate companies, but I do know that um, I, 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 it would be a challenge to find more companies that devote more resources to diversity than Lilly does. I think that's reflected in some of our diversity rankings. But here on the screen, you could just see some of the various groups that we have. African American Network, Africa, Middle East, Central Asia, Japan, people respecting individual differences, that's our pride group, people living with disabilities, women's initiatives, on and on and on. And one that we recently initiated about three years ago are the early career professionals. These are all groups that are funded by the company with all missions of uh, trying to give back and educate the entire body so that we can all understand different cultures uh, as we work with all cultures and medicines throughout the world. So it's been a source of pride for me, I can certainly say, but it really um, gives you an opportunity to, to learn other cultures. And at any point in time, walking down the halls of the corporate center, you could, you, you'll see a variety of people. Uh, Americans, people from Japan, China, all languages. Yeah. So it's really uh, a, a neat thing to, to see. So again, just a snapshot, but before we even talk about the opportunities, you need to know who we are and kind of where we're coming from. Because you may look at that and go, well, hey, that, that ain't the kind of company I want to work for. If that's the case, you're on the wrong plane, you may exit now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You may deboard the plane at this particular time, but if that if that is you, then we welcome you to stay. So, why are we here? Um, why are you on this line? You're you're here to talk about opportunities. Well, let's talk about it. I run our sales internship program. This is a program that we've been doing for about ten years. We may be the only company or pharma company who does a campus intern program. Most pharmaceutical companies or you know, uh, the top pharma companies really want to hire people with three to five years of sales experience. Again, going back to what we think is very important, early career professionals, diversity, we like that early talent. We think that early talent or that campus talent or zero to three years as well as experience gives us um, a lot of diversity within the company, gives us a competitive edge. So that's why we do it and we invest a lot of money into it. Now, what's new here is this year we piloted um, a specialty internship. So. Uh, with Lilly and most pharmaceutical companies, you have primary care and then you have specialty. Your entry level is your primary care, 
But let me talk about the specialty first, and then I'll kind of work our way through the slide, and then we'll talk about experience opportunities. But specialty, uh, I would say a lot more involved, territories are bigger, access is a lot different, and in our biomedicines division, neuroscience, rheumatology, and dermatology host those internships. They are 12-week internships for the specialty, where in primary care, they're 10 weeks. And who we're looking for are students between their first and second year of graduate school. So that could be a master's, it could be a PharmD, it could be an MBA, but someone seeking a graduate degree. And oh, by the way, it could be online study. So if you can show that you're taking courses and you've completed that first year and you're looking for a quality internship, um, then this may be an opportunity for you. So when we get to Columbus on Friday, we are interested um, and even if you know people who might fit this, this is a rare and unique opportunity, particularly at the specialty level, because unlike other companies, Lilly will take people with great leadership, great learning agility, and will train you even at the specialty level where other companies would require three to five to seven years of experience. So that is significant, and this gives us an ability to, to bring those people on board who, who believe in helping people, have a passion for it, um, good communicators, and we'll give them a chance, and we'll give them that opportunity. So that's number one. So, and here's a neat thing. If you're dialed in from all across the country, our opportunities are nationwide. Uh, and that's the beauty of sales. We have doctor's offices all across the country. So again, sales internships, specialty, we're looking for graduate students between their first and second year of graduate school. So I also host our primary care sales internship, and you might be on this line right now, and you may be thinking that's great for my son, my daughter, my niece, my nephew. Yes. This would be great for all of them. What we're looking for here is undergraduates between their junior and senior year. We'll have some handouts and all that kind of stuff at the uh, event on Friday. Those are 10 week internships. There's a start date in May that really focuses on students who are on semesters. And then there's another start date that will accommodate the folks on semesters, barely. Uh, but June, uh, if you're on a quarter system, you're able to come in and start in June uh, and do your 10 weeks. Uh, we have 60 sales interns across the country, where in specialty we'll have about 15 or 20, not as many, because um, there's not as many jobs. Uh, it's smaller, much smaller sales force. So we are looking for uh, primary care, uh, and actually it might be diabetes and neuroscience. We're expanding. So actually that may end up being about 85 or 90 sales interns. That's how committed we are to early career campus hires. So um, I've done a lot of talking so far. William, I, if, if you want me to open it up right now to just to talk about internships before I turn over to our experienced recruiter, this may be a good time. And then, of course, we'll have general time at the end for Q&A. So I can okay. keep going or we can open it up for questions. Actually, we did get some questions. Um, looks like partially some of those might have been answered. But let me go ahead and fire off the questions that we have so far. Sure. So. So from Annette from Hampton University, um, she wanted to know for someone with a PharmD uh, degree, how they can transition from retail pharmacy to the pharmaceutical industry or specifically Eli Lilly. That's a great question. And just so you know, um, Hampton is one of our target schools. Uh, we are scheduled to be down there, I think it's September, 
the 26th or 29th, whatever that Wednesday is, we'll be down there for the big career fair. So please, 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 please look us up. Uh, we'll be primarily anchored in the business building. So uh, for pharmacists, if you are currently uh, in doing your PharmD program, the only challenge we have for an internship is between that fourth and fifth year, pharmacy students are generally doing their rotations. So they would be ineligible for the internship. And I've had a lot of people come to me and say, well, can we do it two years before? And the answer is no, that, that is a longer term thing. Uh, we love PharmDs, we love pharmacists. At one time, Lily only hired pharmacists. So we love you. And what I would say to you is when you graduate, look us up um, and, and we'll get you into the interview process. Um, but that rotation between that fifth and sixth year is, is, is a little bit of a challenge for us. But we'll be at Hampton in September. Please look us up. Uh, we'll be happy to talk more about that. Okay. And this, this particular person actually recently graduated in the last couple of years, and she's already in um like pharmacy and she's interested in transitioning oh, okay. over to, into you know careers potentially with eli lily so she's wondering how she would you know how oh i see that path mm -hmm. yeah that's even better what i would say is we, we got to figure out a way how to, how to get resumes um well if, if she will be there if there's any chance she would be in columbus that'd be the perfect time for us to meet um, now I'm going to hesitate to give my email out because I'll get like a thousand emails. So maybe William, you know, I'll give your can, email out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Folks, folks can uh, email me resumes. Just email them to resumes at hbcuconnect.com, and we have a process to get those into our database and then share them uh, with you. So if you have a resume and, and you, you want to send me, mm -hmm. if I could just also add for Annette. Um, if she's a, a practicing pharmacy, there are tons of opportunities and roles inside our corporate office um, on like the research side, um, if she's interested in that. But if she wants to work in sales for sales initially and um, possibly uh, take on a career sales path into uh, training and um, leadership or management, uh, we, th there's opportunity there as well because I'm sure her transferable skills as a pharmacist around product knowledge and payer landscape, all of that would be helpful in, in, in sales and as a, a manager or trainer or possibly a director of sales. So there's opportunity. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. And the timing is right because we'll get to this shortly, but we're currently undergoing an expansion across the country. So you know, students or, or not actually would be students at that point um, should be, uh, you know, signing in and registering and applying for those jobs ASAP. That is an immediate, immediate effort. And we'll start interviewing for those next week. So, uh, but let's, let's stick with intern. Any other questions on the internships? Um, so we've got a, a few folks on that have advanced degrees or are working on advanced degrees. And they're interested as far as um, are the internship opportunities only available to undergrad or, or can folks with, that are working on advanced degrees also apply for internships or, you know, fellowships or even careers no. after they graduate? Sure, absolutely. The, the answer is yes. And this is a new program that we're just starting. Um, and that's that specialty. So if you're, and maybe some people can't see the slide. So let me reiterate, two opportunities. Opportunity number one is a specialty sales internship in our biomedicines group, neuroscience, rheumatology, dermatology, 12 weeks. Graduate, this is for graduate students in between their first and second year or whatever year before your graduation. What does a sales intern do? I guess it might be helpful if I said that. In both cases, primarily you receive two, two and a half weeks of training. Very structured, I will tell you, very mm -hmm. intense. Mm -hmm. um, so at home, you get your iPad, you get modules sent to you. Uh, we focus on one product, so it's not overbearing. One product, one therapeutic area, 
you do your home training at home. There are a series of tests that you have to take that's product, therapeutic area. I think there's another one in there, but you have plenty of support. Each intern has a peer mentor, their district manager, and the area trainer assigned to them. We provide plenty of support. After that week, week and a half of that home training, we fly all of the interns to Indianapolis uh, at the expense of the company. That includes flight, lodging, and meals, and you're in a classroom situation. That's both, all my interns do that. Uh, they're in here for basically five days, and then they fly back to their territory where we rent our interns' cars for the summer. So you, we do provide a company vehicle for the summer. The week that they get back in their territory, that first week is what I call a transition week. So we don't just say to our interns, hey, you've been through eight days of home study, five days of indie based training, good luck, here's your car, here's your routing list. What we do is we transition them. So all of our interns will ride with another rep, sometimes different reps each day mm -hmm. to learn style, office etiquette, mm -hmm. further reinforce selling technique, et cetera, et cetera. So they might see 20 to 30 calls before they get their own territory. Then that following week, they are out on their own doing the job of a sales rep. So it is actual hands-on experience for that eight to 10 weeks. So specialty for graduate students and then primary care is our entry-level jobs for students between their junior and senior year. So I've got actually a, a good amount of questions coming in. So I'm, I'm, for everybody that's asking questions in the chat, I'm taking the questions down, but for the sake of uh, making sure we get through the entire presentation, um, I'll turn it over to, to you guys at Eli Lilly to continue, but I'm taking down all the questions and, and maybe at the end we can, we can go back to uh, the list of questions I got here. Sure, and you know, the other thing that we can do, uh, William, if, because we, we, we do have a hard stop at one, um, we could also, you and I and the team can reconvene and any questions that we can't answer right now or don't have time for, we can follow up even in Columbus or we can send out a, a written response next week. So, um, well, that's a little bit about internships. Now let me turn it over to, I think, Tiffany, um, who's gonna talk about, no, who's doing expansion? Maya. Okay, let's do Maya. Let's give high level what we have for experience and then we'll let Tiffany talk about a day in the life of an experienced sales rep. Awesome, awesome. So um, just to reiterate what Mark has been saying, our greatest contribution to society that Lily has right now is discovering medicines that help people live longer, healthier, more active lives. And with that being said, for more than 25 years, we've been committed to helping people suffering from migraine and disabling headache disorders. And um, right now, we're currently expanding. We created a neuroscience primary care sales force in which we have already posted over um, 195 positions wow. um, that we're actively recruiting for this month. Yes. Um, I, you know, we've talked about um, sales, and Tiffany will talk more about um, the day in the life of a sales rep, but sales positions at Lilly pretty much offer a path to not only positively impact patients' lives, but you're also able to enhance your own personal career path. You'll, in, you'll um, encounter solid training, professional experience, and a potential for upward growth within the company. Um, with that being said, our neuroscience positions are posted now on lily.com slash careers. We have a huge initiative for diversity and inclusion for this Salesforce, since it is a brand new Salesforce. So if you have an interest in pharmaceutical sales, we are looking for experience as well as early career professionals. So someone um, zero to three years of experience outside of a degree. We are looking for you if you're interested, if you have um, a thirst for knowledge, a competitive skill set, um, if you have that strong learning agility and it can demonstrate that for new products, 
we encourage you to join us and um, help us meet our goal to make lives better for people who are dealing with migraines or any type of disabling headache disorders by applying online um, today or even meeting with us this weekend to discuss your interest and learn more about the sales positions and what we're exactly looking for for our expansion for our new primary care sales force. Wonderful. So why don't we, before we open it up to general Q&A, let's talk, uh, we'll have Tiffany talk about, because inevitably there's somebody on the line who's heard about pharma, heard about Lilly, but still, still quite can't figure out what the sales rep is. So we asked Tiffany to just kind of go through a day in the life. And then after that, we'll pretty much open it up to questions. Okay, so like Maya mentioned, um, beginning a career at Lilly in sales could be an opportunity for you to get your foot in the door, right? A lot of people, uh, even I'm, I'm going back to Annette's question around, you know, I'm, I'm a pharmacy, I'm a PharmD, work in retail pharmacy, I'm interested in getting, uh, a, a, a starting a career at Lilly. An opportunity could be there for you with sales, with this neuroscience expansion, with over 200 plus um, jobs posted. A year or two in a role could could open the door for you to so much more at Lilly. So a day in the life, right? Um, I believe my audience consists of a mix of early career professionals as well as experienced. Uh, individual, so I don't want to insult your intelligence and start like at the bare basics, but uh, basic skills, you would need excellent, phenomenal communication skills. You're going to have to uh, be an uninvited guest in the offices of uh, our customers, and you will be possibly the only face or uh, representative of Lily's brand that they will ever encounter. So it's important that you uh, have excellent communication skills. It's important that you um, have great learning agility to where um, your environment, I know for me, my environment changed almost every 30 minutes to an hour. So what worked in one setting may not work in another setting. So you have to be flexible and have the ability to adapt quickly. Um, you must be organized, right? So you will, uh, the way this works as pharmaceutical companies purchase, uh, uh, data from local pharmacies, and that's how uh, zip codes are assigned to specific territories. So whether or not you're working at, uh, in a silo by yourself or with uh, a partner, uh, it's important and imperative that you have uh, great organizational skills. You have to develop a routing and stick to said routing. Um, and think of it, uh, if you're a sales representative, almost as if you have been given a franchise, a little piece of the pie of Lilly, and they give you that autonomy and flexibility to run your business. So you have to be a business owner. And you, um, of course, like Mark said, you're going to be trained and you're going to have support, but you have to show um, that you can own your business and think on your feet quickly and make decisions on your own that will positively impact your business and ultimately Lilly's business. Um, if you uh, do have the opportunity to work in a partnership, for example, in our diabetes business unit, we have an alliance with uh, Boeing or Ingelheim to promote um, some of our oral medications for the management and treatment of type 2 diabetes. Again, you have to be flexible, meet with your partners, communicate with them, strategize with them, uh, implement uh, your plans with them. Uh, you must have strong product knowledge. Can't stress that enough. Uh, you represent our brand. You have to know mechanisms of action, how our medications work in the body, how they're metabolized, what the side effects could possibly be, and be able to articulate those to the customers and their staff. You have to be able to build relationships, right? I uh, alluded to the fact that you are an uninvited guest in customers' offices. So it's basically like cold calling. Um, you walk in, you meet that gatekeeper, that receptionist, and depending on the mood that she's in today, he or she is in today, they may let you back to see the customer. But you have to understand the importance of a total office sale and being able to uh, relate 
to everyone within the office, not just the customer or the physician responsible for writing uh, prescriptions for patients. You must also have strong disease state knowledge. If you're working in a business unit, whether it be neuroscience, diabetes, oncology, dermatology, you have to understand uh, that disease state. Uh, also, payer landscape. Uh, you all know that insurance uh, plays a big part in whether or not our customers can prescribe our medication. So you have to understand that process and how uh, medications are uh, approved and paid for through insurance companies to be able to articulate that. Uh, to the customer and, and whether or not your product has access on the top plans that his patients come in um, with. And again, you got to be an overall team player. Uh, within Once you are placed in a territory, that territory is part of a district and is part of um, an area. So um, a lot of things that you do daily may not be seen by your uh, district sales manager. So that's why you have to be a team player. Pick up the phone, call somebody if you need help. Um, be willing to recognize others that help you and uh, give them that recognition. And um, other than that, that's it. I think being a, uh, a business owner ultimately will lead to success as a sales rep. So, Great. Tiffany, one follow-up question yes. that, that I think may be on the minds of the way you articulate it. Very good job. Thanks. But does somebody have to have a science background? No. It sounds like the way we're talking. But so can you clarify that? Sure. So um, let me just say, I actually did have a biology uh, pre-med degree, right? I had a biology pre-med degree from Xavier University and walked straight into Lilly, one interview and done, sealed the deal and, and got the job. But our basic requirement is a, a undergraduate bachelor's mm -hmm. degree, mm -hmm. whether it's in communication, whether it's in marketing or uh, business or what have you, uh, we just need that four-year degree as a basic requirement. And Lily's um, sales training department does a phenomenal job of making sure everyone's brought up to speed and understands uh, what they need to, to be successful in the field. But again, that's why I mentioned being a team player. you got to know your, your peers on your mm -hmm. team. You have to... Um, not be prideful, but humble, mm -hmm. and be able to uh, recognize when you need help mm -hmm. and be willing to ask for help mm -hmm. because your experienced uh, team members will be able to uh, simplify the complex to where you understand it, and then you can put uh, processes and, and information in your own words to articulate it to the customers. Mm -hmm. So that that is significant in that many of the companies that you talk to, even non-sales, are very specific. We're looking for marketing. We're looking mm -hmm. for finance, HR, IT. Mm -hmm. Sales is unique, which is why I love sales, is because we have really a little bit of an eclectic group yeah. in sales. We may have MBAs. We may have undergrads. We may have engineers. We may have we have some medical doctors. We have pharmacists. We have, pharmacists. Yeah. We have music majors. We have mm -hmm. teachers. So that nurses, nurses. Mm -hmm. you no, know, we certainly people in the healthcare yeah. field. Mm -hmm. So that 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 certainly is significant. So um, let me see. I've got uh, maybe a few more slides here. So um, I think we talked a little bit about this about what an internship program, whoops, would look like. Uh, territory throughout the country, highly competitive paid salaries for the people doing that work, chance to manage a territory, company vehicle provided, two weeks of sales training. So we talked about that. And then we talked about the day in the life. And then just this last slide is we look forward to seeing you on Friday, and actually, isn't Friday the third? Friday's mm -hmm. probably the third. Mm -hmm. So don't show up on Friday the second. Show up on Friday, August the third, mm -hmm. <laughs> at the Professional Networking Employment Reception. So <clears throat> you can meet us then. Um, if you if you are on the line, uh, Will has given you uh, email to send resumes to. Uh, if you're looking for an internship. But I will tell you to streamline it, you can do both. If you're looking for an experienced position or one of these expansion positions, go in by the end of today 
and apply. Um, that is the best way to get seen by our screeners and to get into the system. Um, you will have to take a pre-employment screen, uh, like an assessment. Everybody has to take it. It'll take about 30 to 45 minutes. So all of a sudden, if, it's like a personality profile. Uh, again, it takes about a half hour, so don't be discouraged. But you have to finish that before your application uh, will become complete. So with that, I think we are ready for, we got 15 minutes for Q&A. Perfect. Okay, so I've got actually quite a few questions. So um, if you want to answer them quickly, we'll, we'll, we can maybe try to get through all of them. Sure, so, absolutely. Okay, so first of all, thank you guys for taking the time out to share information on Eli Lilly and careers in pharma pharmaceutical sales. We appreciate you also coming to our recruitment reception on Friday. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the questions. Um, and I'm just going to ask them based on the order that they came in so I don't get, so I don't lose track. But um, first one was from Tony. Um, and, and so the question was, are there internship opportunities for MBA students? She has a healthcare background um, and as a registered nurse in healthcare IT and also getting an MBA in healthcare management. Um, but, so they want to know if there's internships for MBA students. Yeah, there are, but that certainly for sales. But if 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 it's non-sales, there are, but there are, you know, you have to go online to apply for those. We're only speaking uh, to sales right now, and each function, like within marketing, finance, HR, IT, they all have different target schools across the country. But I will also tell you that we also recruit at conferences across the country. So for undergraduate, we, we go to Thurgood Marshall. We go to MLT. For graduate, we're at Black MBA and other conferences. So the answer is yes, um, but that, that's a pretty broad question. But you just have to go to our website to look at all the different opportunities or be at one of our target schools in that function. Um, so that, that, that's the answer to that one. <laughs> the, ne the next question is from Melody. Uh, along the same line, just she's curious if there is if there are opportunities in clinical research. There are probably more so on the experience side versus an internship. And again, that, that would be accessible through lily.com. All right. Backslash okay. careers. <laughs> Okay, so um, so for related to the primary care internships, this is from um, Dagny. Um, and so for students that wish to apply for the primary care internships, are there specific skill sets that you are looking for? Um, yeah, and it's it's pretty one pretty much what, what Tiffany alluded to, but I could I could summarize it. We're looking for in sales leadership. So leadership equals self-starters, people who are hungry. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of autonomy with being a sales rep. You're not, you know, like when I come to work here at Lilly, I'm walking through a door, I'm badging in. When I badge in, I'm sure some, all my data says, Mark Short's here. Mm -hmm. When I badge in, when I badge out. Mm -hmm. When you're out in the field, there's no badging in, there's no badging out you are just expected and you know no manager parked outside your house seeing when you come uh, leave the door when you when you come back you are so and that takes a lot of leadership so we're looking for students who are leaders in their organizations um, who can well you want to answer yeah and I also want to mention too mark is is spot on with it but you have to be self motivated yeah um, uh, as far as how you're uh, incentivized and how your performance is measured, you know, you, you got to perform. And the only way to uh, document that is proof has to be in the pudding. Mm -hmm. So you have to be out there delivering solid messages, uh, creating and establishing relationships to where um, when you're not in the office, there are materials there 
or there's a nurse who you spoke with or a receptionist you talked to that says, oh, remember this, that patient could benefit from that. You got to have things happening in the office in the absence of your presence. So that takes strategy, that takes skill, that takes consistent showing up and showing out. So yeah, self-motivated. If that's not your deal, if um, being in front of people and speaking uh, constantly, influencing, influencing others, if, that, if that's not your deal, then maybe uh, a, self, uh, a sales representative role may not be for you. But I've seen people you know, get dig their heels in and figure it out, and 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 they've done well. Good question. So the next question is actually from, um, I think a faculty or staff member at one of the HBCUs that has tuned in on behalf of their students, and they have some recent bachelor degree graduates who are not going to grad school but are interested in pursuing pharmaceutical sales. Are they eligible to apply? And if so, uh, how do you recommend they can? <clears throat> yes, yes, they are 100% eligible. We encourage them to apply. Um, they can apply at the lily.com slash careers, or like we said, we'll be there on Friday, and you can express interest and let us know there if, if they're able to come Friday. If not, um, definitely apply online. We are, like, like Tiffany said, our minimum requirement for our sales positions in the expansion positions that are posted now is a bachelor's degree. And I also want to, um, and I don't know if y'all feel free to, to offer this, but you can find me on LinkedIn, um, Tiffany Barrow, that's B-A-R-R-O-W. Get connected with your uh, recruiters and your diversity talent scouts, um, and, you know, we can help you get connected or direct you and guide you to which sales opportunities may be right for you. Excellent. Okay, so the next question was, uh, are there are there um, any career opportunities or internships in IT at the company? Yes, and I, I'll go back to my earlier statement. Um, you have to look online. We have a campus section, but also IT, as with other functions, has target schools across the company, across the country, and those should be listed on our website. But uh, like I think. BDPA, which is an undergraduate conference, is I believe it's next this week. week. Next week. Next week. Um, Lily's at most of the major conferences, and those conferences are an excellent opportunity not only to see Lily, but other companies who are coming to those career fairs to hire interns or full time. So, if I have any undergraduates on the stu on the on the line, you should be talking to your career services about conferences that you can attend in the summer or the fall mm -hmm. where these companies are coming to these career fairs and they're they're coming with one purpose and that is to hire so you have to take advantage of that so on that along that same uh you know along the same lines uh jerene from morehouse school of medicine asked will you be visiting uh morehouse school of medicine uh, and also, can you talk a little bit about your visiting scientist fellowship and any opportunities in the Southeast region? So the Morehouse School of Medicine is would not be on our target list for sales. Um, if there are PharmDs there, we mostly source our PharmDs from a pharmacy conference called, I think it's called Midyear. Um, I, I may not be calling the exact title, but uh, if he sends that question in, William, I can get that information to you uh, for, for sourcing our farm D's. But again, just speaking to specifically sales, um, yeah, Morehouse Medical is, is not on the list. Um, but again, to, to be to apply for a full time job, it wouldn't have to be. Excellent. Uh, so one good, interesting question that's a, a little bit different is, can you touch on, and it sounds like we have an experienced uh, person here that, uh, that you know, is very interested. And they said, can you touch on compensation and salary as well as territory radius um, for salesperson area? Yeah, sure. 
Um, if you want uh, I think, uh, it's, uh, okay, it's experience, because I heard him say experience. Okay. Yeah, I could talk to both. Okay, so basically, you know, obviously we, we can't give out salaries over the phone, uh, but I'll give, you, I'll give you a couple of key points. You know, Lilly, I mean, all the major pharmaceuticals are going to offer a very, you know, competitive salary. But what Lilly takes into consideration is your degree, uh, whether you're bachelor's, master's, PharmD, MD, is a consideration in the um, salary as well as your work experience. So those are a couple of our, it's not all the measures, but a couple of our key measures mm -hmm. that we use to evaluate salary. In terms of territory radius, there's a, I'll give you a general rule. If it's a primary care territory, th those territories are smaller. Mm -hmm. Our specialty territories where we have fewer reps because there are fewer specialists across the country, those territories are larger. If you're in a major city, whether it's specialty or primary care, it's going to be probably a smaller territory. But if you're like in the Midwest or some of the Western mm -hmm. states, your territory could be two or three states. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So that, that's kind of a hard one to answer because, mm -hmm. you know, we may have thousands of territories across the country and they're all going to look different. But mm -hmm. Um, again, if it's near a metro area, you're pro and I think we generally say expect about 20% travel average mm -hmm. in a year for our territories. Hence okay. why we That's provide okay. a company vehicle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm just taking notes on a couple more questions that came in. Uh, so are there opportunities to join the company full time after the internships? That's from Tony. Oh, yeah, yeah, great yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our number one objective is to hire our interns because what we find for our intern pool is you know us and we know you. So if we make you an offer, and they're not easy to get. I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put on any fronts. They they are challenging. Um, they are competitive, but if you get one, you have earned it, believe me. Yeah. And our accept rate is about 95% because if this is your thing, this is your thing. You are energized by it. You had great team support. You had a great manager and you have worked very, very hard to get that offer. So I just placed 21 uh, campus hires from our 2017 pool of people um, about and I'm about four months ahead of time because managers are calling, hey, who's that intern? Or do you have any interns? Because they know that that intern has, you know, even though it's a small amount of experience, the interns still come in at a very, hit the ground running at a very fast pace. So the answer to that question is absolutely. We're not just, while we're providing work experience, while we're a nice company to work for, we are looking to get a return on investment from that talent. So the answer is definitely yes, we look to hire our interns. So I know we're just got a couple minutes left. So I'll shoot these couple of quick questions and then we can kind of close it up. Um, so one quick question was from Melody. Is there a way to find out where Eli Lilly will be? Like, is there a list of conferences or schools so that people can, can show up to meet you? <laughs> Careers, careers.lily.com yeah. usually, or lily.com slash careers, both access the same site, usually we'll have where we are going to be located on the website, different conferences that come up, whether it's a recruit military event, um, we'll be in New Orleans next week for the National Sales Network, as well as BDPA, and then other conferences that we attend usually are on that website page. So if you take a look at the site, um, it should be either on the left or the right side where, we'll, where we will be, and you'll be able to see um, information. And sometimes as well, if you follow us on LinkedIn or Facebook, we have um, a social media 
present. And so we send out alerts as to where we will be. So there should be something coming up soon about being at National Sales Network and BDPA out in New Orleans for you all to come out and take a look at us and um, get to know us at our booth. And of course, we'll be at the illustrious and distinguished uh, HBCU Connect Alumni Weekend uh, on Friday in Columbus, Ohio. And we appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, we're looking forward to seeing you guys here in Columbus, Ohio. I think we're going to have a lot of um, industry professionals there as well. So um, for those of you that are not aware, um, we're actually hosting our recruitment reception on Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. in Columbus, Ohio at the Hyatt Regency downtown. So definitely come out and, and check out Eli Lilly and company. And then uh, there will also be a lot of other employers there as well. You can check it out on our website, hbcuconnect.com slash weekend. So just uh, we're running out of time here. It's 1 o'clock. wanted to thank everyone for joining, and especially the Eli Lilly, time, Eli Lilly and company for taking the time to speak to everyone. So if you, if you had any final words. Uh, yeah, again, thank, thank you, William, for this opportunity. I know you and I have been talking on and off throughout the years. So I'm glad we were finally able to connect and, and offer this service. And I don't know how many people are on the line, but if this has been of value, maybe we'll look at doing a couple of these per year. Um, but again, uh, I would stress uh, particularly for the intern program, uh, you know, because again, there might be some aunts and uncles and moms and dads uh, on the line. We're looking for juniors for an under, uh, undergraduate going into their senior year. Send those resumes to William uh, or HBCU. Uh, he'll give you that information again. Um, graduate students uh, between their first and second year, we've got an uh, internship for you and now nearly 200 positions posted across uh, the country and uh, for positions in our brand new form, newly formed uh, neuroscience business unit. So Lilly is hiring. That's the message. Excellent. And, and that email address, if you want to send over resumes for this opportunity, uh, resumes at hbcuconnect.com. We'll get those compile and then share them with the Eli Lilly team. So thanks again. We really appreciate you guys for presenting this information to the HBCU audience and uh, look forward to the next time we're able to connect and maybe do another webinar. Thank you, sir. Have a good day, everybody. Happy Take Wednesday. Care. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.